Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode on Shogun 2. Sorry for the delay in episodes, but uh, because of the holidays I uh, had less time to record these sessions. Anyways, we will try to continue with this series at least today, tomorrow um, and the day after tomorrow. Yes, and then on Friday uh, it's a holiday again, so I won't record then, just that you guys know. And I will continue as usual on Sunday or Monday, but you will find out. Let me see where I stopped last time. I see that there are a lot of raiding parties going on. Uh, I had an invasion, if I re recall correctly. Yes, here it is, of the Shosakabe. And I had a conquering here. And the plan was to mm, with this army to move back. This is our Damio, so he can move back. Uh, I need to check if I get attacked by the Shogun itself when passing by to capture this last province here. Um, and this army will go up north and should be strong enough to kill or defend off uh, the remaining forces here, especially with our bow cavalry, I think resistant to morale shocks. Um, can hide in woodlands. <coughs> we will we will check what will happen. As far as I can recall, we cannot move here. We can do some movement here. I cannot recruit any units, unfortunately. And I have some units here. But they will join our Tamios army. What do I have here? One extra Yari, one extra Naginata. That will be very useful in this army to have some extra spear units. Let me check again. I do it every episode. But now, finally, we will get that research done. They are not attacking, so that's fine. I will use my ninja to track them down. Or try to track them down. If we are able to sabotage that army. Then we can try to conquer their settlement. Yes, we knew that would happen. At least we have a good view at their units. So that's all the resolve. Ah, I had some katana samurai in here. And some bow samurai. Okay. Nothing that we could do here. They will conquer probably. And they are continuing as expected, what I don't like um, in that direction. But that was something that we expected. As long as there are no new naval landing forces, everything will be fine. Province lost, army crushed, port blockaded, port blockaded, sea route raided. Art mastered, but we will change that around. Ronin. That's not good. Let me check. <coughs> I was thinking to or go to the way of the sea or the way of the bow. Uh, just to have the fire arrows that we can use at sea. Fun fact by the fire arrows, um, back in the day they weren't that efficient. Uh, only 2% were still burning when arrived at target and even then it was not likely to cause any damage uh, to buildings or etc. Um, but yeah, in the game it works so uh, we will use this flaming arrows or fire arrows. Um, <clears throat> plus 10 accuracy for all bow units, not bad since we have a lot of bow units in our units but I think that this would be more useful at the moment. Enable all fleets to engage in night battles. 10% movement range and all. Yeah, that's good. And a firebomb Kabaya. Not interested. Heavy boon I'm interested in. And... It's only heavy boon, firebomb Kabaya. Let's do the fire arrows first. 
Okay, okay, okay. So we had some units that are created. So indeed we were putting some last stands here and here. And I think at the moment here is more important. So let's recruit some more units. Some katana would be nice, but I think it will take too long. Sorry. Um, so something like this. And since they moved to this province. Um, and recruit some bow samurai. Oh, let's just recruit this. It's fine. We can also do a small stop here, but even then, these ones are not uh, very well equipped to handle an attack. Now, here all the fun is happening. So let me see if we can sabotage. It will cost me way too much, so I will cancel that recruitment. Because I'd rather have the chance of sabotaging this army. Sabotage failed. And now we didn't because of the sabotage failed, we didn't spend all the money so we can queue that up again. <coughs> all our money is gone. That's no biggie. I think they are in reinforcement range. Mm. Inbo are here, but also there. Question is, can I pass without the Shogun attacking me? You'll find out. Apparently we can, so that's fine. Let's all resolve that one. And let's create an extra vessel, <coughs> just because they will be quite safe here. And I get this extra good unit, apparently, so yes, please. So that was a free unit, that was worth quite a lot. And the Atori are revived again, maybe it's because of the Naginata, Naginata Dojo, I still cannot rip that building. So now my Daimyo army is ready to move. Probably will lose this province. I would say it's now not a big deal, but it is it is at the moment. Uh, but nothing that we can do about that. So let's track them. I'm even thinking, but I cannot move up without uh, proper forces. Pop, pop, pop. So I can reach this army if it will help. Probably will charge their cavalry forward. Uh, I think it's worth the risk. We probably need to fight this battle ourselves. But I think we can win this one and then we can seal this side off and secure that province. As expected, they will join. Normally they will join outside the wall, so we will pick the fight first with them. Uh, make good use of our cavalry and our bow cavalry. Um, we need, really need to counter those cavalry units. And try to wiggle them down one by one. Try to open fire on the cavalry units. Uh, and the rest is just picking. We can just pick off. So that's assault. We can also rush for the city center. Maybe that's also not a bad idea. Our cavalry is, is agile enough to avoid their cavalry. And if they will pick a fight, they are strong enough to kill them. Hmm, maybe not. Because I think if I go for the city center and I capture it and I hold it for two minutes, it's ours. And then we have an advantage.
that would be a very quick battle then um, battle that I really need to pay attention to and let's hear, hear the general speech いつの日か、わしは父上を引き継ぎ大名となる。たとえその時が来ても、お主らを家来に従えた今日のこの誉れを忘れはしまい。織田の軍で死んだ万象の中で最も愚かな存在だ。もし誰かがそれを奴らに
around. Oh, I cannot assist them, unfortunately. Let's see. Okay, I think we will lose those guys if I cannot pull them out. They will all die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. really see what's going on but let's say things are looking good let's take our horses to charge in the back to lower their morale let's keep our bow cavalry safe or as safe as possible let's see if we need to inspire a unit of our own that unit is furthest away. Okay. Pull out because our archers are still firing in them. Let's route this side. It's a very good tactic, this hammer and anvil. Okay, let's save up our ammo, save up our ammo, and take our horses to run them down. So the worst thing that happened, happened, but that's uh, all fine. So one unit we need to keep in the back, this unit. The others are good enough to attack. Uh, good amount of archers, and I see they're already wavering. So maybe by just putting our archers forward, we can already make the difference. Uh, let's keep our general close for the morale boost. Let's do some quick shots. Try to stay out of range of the, their towers. Uh, but I think the battle already went very nice. So if they were spawning on the other side, then we could rush forward to capture. Um, but that was not needed. Start firing. Try to break their morale. Trying to keep an eye out if I'm not uh, targeted by those towers. I don't think so. Don't know what my cavalry is doing, this unit. It's going back and forth. Another advantage of firing this battle myself is that we don't uh, <coughs> set the gatehouse on fire and we can easily defend this one off against the Oda. They are running, they are running, they are fighting to the death. Wavering um, Constant Army running. So the quick route of that uh, previous unit completely destroyed them and now it's already our victory without doing anything. Let's move our cavalry a little bit out of the way because I see they get shot by our own men. We lost one. <clears throat> and let's end the battle. So quite an easy victory actually, didn't expect that one. <clears throat> okay, should be large and broad. This is a two-fold craze. Perception and sight. Perception is strong and sight is weak. Okay. 358 men lost, enemy killed, 2000, so not bad for a siege. But it was mainly because of the suicidal attempts. So this is now intact. I see we can create some Iari Samurai to enforce our army, and that's good because we need those units. Um, and I hope I can make a vessel out of these guys. So I can go up, make a vessel, come back down. That way uh, <clears throat> we have an extra buffer up north 
And then the Oda only have two provinces left, so we could make an attempt to destroy them completely. But we have to check. So our Tamiyo is back in the running. He will replenish on the way. <clears throat> he will try to insert these extra units into the army. Uh, see what what is possible, what not. And he will protect the mainland. Um, and didn't we... Thought we were creating some kind of a landing force. Apparently I'm not. So if I dealt with the Shosakabe this way, I will land and uh, take over the complete island and finish them off. <clears throat> and this army should be focusing on, on finishing off the Oda. Uh, and then with the Shosakabe done, the Oda done, and these guys, Moyoshi. Uh, we only have four main clans remaining that are battling us. And this way we can try to get some control back at sea, get those major victories at sea. Still a challenge that I need to do, uh, but at the moment I'm really struggling with income, so try to put some focus there. I think it was a successful turn, so let's end the turn, let's see what happens. Okay, that's expected. We'll keep our ninja close to see what they will con conquer. Okay, didn't expect this one that quickly. Uh, this one we need to fight ourselves uh, because we need to try to get a win out of it. <clears throat> Don't know if it's possible, so we will try. Battle of Matsue in 1563. We have two layers, so we will take full advantage of our two layers uh, and we need to try to keep our towers in the battle as long as possible. So we will see how it will go. We only have Ashigari units so that's not good. We have one Samurai retainer. <clears throat> They chose bad vision. Oh, only have three bow units. We'll keep one here. We'll keep one here. And I will try to force them to come up. This is my expendable unit, expendable unit, and expendable unit. And this one I will keep in the reserve up top. And these guys I will also keep in the reserve up top. They need to defend that tower. They need to defend that tower. Maybe I'll put my archers inside, but at the first run they need to fire <coughs> upon them. So let's see. They split up nicely. Only archers from that side, so we will ignore that side. We will quickly try to form something there. We will set up some archers here and set up some archers here. These guys will also move out of the way. Check what's coming. That's the first one that's coming. I will keep them at this corner. And I'm completely banning this part of the wall um, to don't give them any advantage of their archeries, archers. Because they have quite a lot on that side and I don't like it. So maybe if they start cli climbing the wall, I will sally out with some forces. So that told, I will get one outside of the wall quickly. Get this one more on this side as well. <clears throat> the 
you can't see anything. So here I will try to do some damage on their Yari Samurai as much as possible. Pull this unit back and they will reinforce this side after a couple of follies. Thirty-nine kills already. We are start climbing, so let's go inside. Let's pull a spear wall. Spear wall. Try to keep an eye out here. Okay. Pan the spear wall. Loose formation. Need to put them in the spear wall. Okay, they climbed up, so let's move here. The tower. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. Okay, okay, okay. We need to really, really need to stop them at the that layer. Cannot afford them to to climb up the second layer. I think that's just in time. Put them on the spear wall. Those archers will start firing. They are in spear wall. They are climbing. They are wavering. Great, I cannot pull off a victory Our here. Men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. Come on, come on, come on, break this side. They are holding. <coughs> they are not firing. Oh no, let's, let's, put, let's keep them here. Let them fire on the, the ones that will come up. Come on guys, break. Uh didn't put those guys on guard mode. Our entire unit has perished, my lord. Come on guys, fire on those who dare to come up. They're on guard mode, that's fine. Put those guys on guard mode. By putting them on guard mode, even though they are attacking, the rest should keep firing, as you can see. And it gives you some advantage. Uh, so let's try to relieve that force and let's try to relieve that force. Our 
men are running from the battlefield. Safe oh, for this they did not survive. And they will also not survive. I think all is lost. I also think I could have done this a little bit better. So the Shosakabe really needs to be punished for this action against us. They are not able to survive. Our entire unit has perished, my lord. I'm afraid that my worries were not a match for these bow samurai units. Red enemy units? Yes, they are. Point blank range. It will be of no use, especially when they are flanked by both samurai units. At least try to kill as many as possible. But they uh, are failing, my lord. just with too the many, so let's speed up. This is something I really don't like because it's quite a strong fortress that I need to abandon. If you attacked with the other force, I was able to pull something off, but this one was just too strong. <clears throat> so we will lose more of the mainland, all to the Shosakabe. Um, aren't we married off to the Shosakabe? Our younger, our um, Second son? So we, uh, we, let, we let them fight for it. That, that's for sure. But, uh, they were still able to win. We wiggled them down. <clears throat> so a lot of units were, per were uh, destroyed. And what is that? That's my own vessels that are doing stuff. They need to be very strong. I keep off the Shinbo. Longer they can hold out, out the better. Army crushed, army crushed, I know, port blockade. Unrest in key, something that I was expecting because of uh, the bad omens there. Um, we really took a hit financially, but let's already start moving to the Shosakabe to face them and let them answer for their crimes. So we'll try to insert this unit, and can I insert this one as well? No, that's too much. Okay, so that one will stay behind. So we are full strength to... Uh, we can easily go up north. Uh, sabotage to stop them. We are sabotaged. Just 
to stop their advance. And if they will. Oh no, if they capture my. If they capture my gold province, everything is lost. The threat disappeared a little bit from this side. We will move some some armies around and try to hold them off at Iwami. Already a lot more archers, and with the army that I have left, they need to re need to take some time to replenish. And our Damio is going up north, but that's fine. Let me check what we are up against. This army that's quite damaged. But we are also not at full strength. Let me check again. We killed off all their horses. We have more archer units. We should be able to win this battle. So we will attack. Can we do a night battle? Fortunately we can't. Let's... Oh, I'm way over time. That's uh, happening when you're enjoying playing a game. So this battle will be something for next time. Let me do a quick save. So uh, I'm seven minutes over time. But uh, if you're still watching, you probably don't mind. Uh, I would thank you all for watching next time. We will fight this battle first of all. Uh, and we will try to push back the Shosakabe. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, feel free to like and subscribe. If you don't like what you're seeing, feel free to leave a dislike. And I will see you boys and girls next time.